What's up, YouTube? Like they say, all the world is a stage, right? You got to know your role. And when it comes to self-sabotage, it's really about just step, trying to step off that path and, and be fearful of, of your own power. Because fear causes hesitation. Fear causes complacency. Fear causes hesitation. And hesitation makes your worst fears come true. Or it can make your worst fears come true. So, stepping off of that path, if you're not, you know, you're not being yourself at that point. And as soon as that happens, the body is going to start to decay. It's going to start to die from the inside out. Once you step away from what you, what your role is here in the universe. So, if you're not being yourself, you're being... What are you being? Who are you being? Parasite, maybe? Parody? You look and walk and talk like a human, but you, you're you not playing your role, so what are you doing? What are you being if you're not being what you're supposed to be? And, I, you know, I've done it before. I'm not going to act like I'm exempt to this self-sabotage when everything was there for me. I had everything in place for me. For me to be a household name on your TV screen and I threw it all away for multiple reasons it was a culmination of reasons it wasn't like one reason but at the same time if I had lived up to my fullest potential as far as what I was doing and I can still do that I'm back on the track now I'm just saying like that I have experienced self-sabotage at this point I could already be where I could have, you know, just the potential. I could have been on your TV screen right now instead of maybe in a year. So, who knows who I could have reached. But at this point, it's who I'm going to reach, who I'm reaching now. And self-sabotage is just one of the things that just happen on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like sweating the small stuff is, is that real. Like, small things manifest into large things. If you can't put a bunch of small things together, put a bunch of days in a row of doing, grinding for something, building something, then each time that you step, take a step in the other direction, that's self-sabotage. Every time you, you, you reach for some garbage or reach for a substance, it's all substance. But, you, you know, that's self-sabotage every time. That's really suicide. It's really suicide at the end of the day. It's suicide. Anything that's non-complimentary and that's offensive to life is suicide. So not being yourself and stepping off the path and sabotaging what you you have, you know, the power that you have, it just comes from fear. And like, like the Will Smith movie, I know y'all know the line, you know, danger or things like that might be, they might be real, but Fear is a, is a choice. It's a choice. Like, again, it's all about choices and lessons. And you don't want to relearn lessons. Because it's like you learn a lesson, you get hit, you get smacked on the hand. You know, you, the next time, you get hit in the head. Then there might not be a next, a next coming back from that. You know, you never know. Like, you, you might have to start all, you know, have to restart all over. The body's going to begin to go back to the soil already. We're just watching you decay for the next 60 years or 40 years, however the, the time may be, whatever. So self-sabotage starts at a minute level. It starts at a, like, ah, oh, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to cut this corner. I'm not going to do this here. You know, that voice in your head, you know, is always the judge. Like you, know, like I said, you got the wang of the heart. It happens throughout the day. It happens every night when you go to sleep. It happens when... You transition, or what they say, you die. You have a wang of the heart, where yourself either refutes the way you live, the lifestyle you live, based on opinion, belief, desire, or you know you're at peace, and you can transition and move on. But if you if not, you know you you have to restart. It's like it's that simple. Like you got to restart. So it's it's. It's really that basic, man. Like, you have a wang of the heart and of every decision you make. And you know the truth. 
Everybody knows the truth. We just act like we don't. We distract ourselves from it all the time. We build up distraction. Get up, distracted. Uh, consume something, distract our body. All types of distractions. Just consumption and distraction. Just to keep us from reaching our full potential when it's all just stemming from fear. And this is why I ask the question all the time, is fear stronger than love? At this point, in this juncture in, in existence, it might be right now. You know, it might be at this point of the the battle of that yin and yang situation, that duality, because that fear energy is being is being harvested at a at a crazy rate right now with all the the occult talk and all these powers that be talk and everything. Like you're not a power that is or bees exists. Like when people ask me how I'm doing or how I am, I say I am. I exist. Because you exist. You are a power that, that be. So you are a creator. As much as people don't want to accept themselves, you are a creator. You create every day. Whether it's just urine and fecal matter or whether it's art, drawings, whatever, you're creating every day. Like you inhale, you exhale. You create. And the universe breathes through you as you exhale through it. It's like, it's just... It's that simple, like life flows through you or, you know, the, the other side of that coin. Offense and death flows through you. So it, it, it can only, you know, but either way, it's just, you're going to pick a role. You're going to pick a role in this existence. Either way. You're going to pick a wavelength and a role, and you're going to carry out that role. And whatever is the most complimentary for the body is what people will call a destiny. But you have you all you ultimately have the choice. And you have to learn from the choices. And sabotaging your potential is one of the most painful things to ever experience. And from my personal experience, it's no point in being afraid. You rather you rather give it your all and, and, and be naked at the end of it and know that you gave it your all and fail that way than to just sabotage and wonder your whole life. Never wonder, never hope. I would say never pray, never try, just do.